Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and it is time for another long run series. And quite frankly, I didn't want to wait uh, until CrossCode was done for this one because um, this is one that I very much want to get into and uh, I look forward to sharing it with you all. Um, some of you might remember um, over about a span of about half a year, I was streaming a certain series of games. And although I haven't streamed all of those games, well, I'm kind of allowing myself to skip ahead a little bit. It doesn't really matter for the continuity, I don't think. There really isn't much continuity for this series. <clears throat> But um, this is also a bit of a milestone because this is the first time that I'm doing a game on the Switch. And you might wonder, well, what are we going to play? <clears throat> well, if it's not obvious from this screen... <laughs> I can collect platinum points. Oh my goodness. Give me a second. Um, you know what? It's fine. Sure, let's go with wild mode. <clears throat> Oh, it's throwing us directly into it, huh? <clears throat> All right. Well, no logo or anything. We still don't know what game this is. Kappa. But it appears to be a Kirby game. What's this? Oh, neat. It's not Luigi's Mansion? Nope. <clears throat> Our first taste of what kind of critters are here. Checkpoint. Interesting.
Huh. Okay, so apparently if you inhale something with an ability, Kirby just swallows it immediately. I'm gonna guess that, uh, like with Kirby 64, you only get so much float. Or maybe you only get so much height? That's weird. <clears throat> um... Kirby in the cutest post-apocalypse. But not the happiest, because that's Splatoon. Also, hey, Tyrion. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hello. Oh no. Angry fuzzies. Uh oh. Well, that just happened. So we can jump as this car. Just casually. No worries. And boom. Does Kirby have his license? Ah. Do you really need a license when society no longer exists? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, does this game have its own written language? Anyway, yes, this is Kirby in the Forgotten Land. If that wasn't already obvious. Anyway. Okay, I am already super enjoying um, how this is turning out.
Bye, car. Oh. Laws are for civilization. There are none. The, there is no civilization. <laughs> Missed a perfectly good drift opportunity. Hey, J-Pop. Uh-oh. These Waldees are in trouble. They didn't they never bother anyone. Except Kirby sometimes. But they're only because of King DDD. Oh, who are you? Well now you're in trouble. Ah. Oh. Ambush room, huh? Okay. Fastest draw in the whatever direction this is. Looks like Kirby is no longer limited to the one dance, which is a good thing. <sighs> you saved me, thank you. But what about those other guys, the Waldees? They're all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them, I have to. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great! So, your name is Kirby? I'm... uh... I'm Elphalyn. Nice to meet you. You don't look like an elf, but okay. Hey, Kirby! Oh. It's Bandanity. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over Planet Popstar, too. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a second player, so... We won't be seeing much of Bandana D, sadly. <laughs> nice one, F nice one, Tyrion. Weast. Second player? What the heck is that? Alright, so what do we have here? So clear the stage, save the hidden Waldies, and then three other things. Interesting. Alright. Well, let's get started with Downtown Grassland. Also, I wonder, if I pause here... Okay, so select also uh, gives up my ability. Just gives it a faster. Hey, okay. I need to get used to the. Hang on, control settings. There we go. Jump is B, attack is Y, and drop ability is A. I think I want to turn off auto swallow too. Swallow objects, press LR. Got it. Ah! You know what? Can I bring one of them back? 
Uh, doesn't look like it. I, I should try out as many of these abilities as I can. They're probably going to act at least a little differently from uh, from other Kirby games, seeing as this one is a little more 3D-ish. I was hoping that this was going to be like really open world, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. This is still a step up for Kirby, so it's not nothing. So much trash. Yeah, interesting. So, oh, mouthful mode is the new gimmick for this game. There are certain objects that you can um, collect in order to uh, sort of acquire them, but not really. We've already experienced the car, and now this is the vending machine, apparently. My first, my first Kirby game was the first Kirby game. So if you feel old, well, I'm sorry. I feel older. But what was that? Anything over here? Ah, okay. Yeah. Can you not, sir? Thank you. But yeah, I actually own a copy of every Kirby game that was physically released in North America. Actually, Zero, that's a good point. I have a Kirby amiibo. It's literally the only amiibo I have. Where is it though? Um... Oops. Use amiibo to gain extra stock items, star coins, and more. Okay, let me go get my amiibo. I'll be right back. I think I know where it is. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, touch the amiibo to the NFC touch point of player one's controller. Go here. Ow. Well, I got hit, but he uh, gave us a couple of things, which is nice. Also, hey, Donut. Hope you're doing well tonight. A good group tonight. I like it. Alright, we have acquired VLC. Okay, interesting. I wonder if... Can we mouthful all of these at the same time? Looks like the answer is no. We can just do the one. Kirby's a cone head. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I've ever watched Coneheads. I've also never played Skylanders, but uh, I don't know if I'm missing all that much. I could be, of course, entirely mistaken. Naturally, Kirby has seen has seen a few of these uh, ferret weasel things, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called. Must saw a few of them doing violence, so he's going to do violence on all of them. That's how Kirby works. Oh hey, okay. But one of the goals is make all the tulips bloom. I'm down, I'm down. Skylanders is this, but your powers are based off of your need. Yeah, that's more or less what I get from it. And I think even if if you nah, even if you're playing um Skylanders on the Switch, you still have to get like the special scanner. Oops. In order to actually scan your figures. Which seems like just kind of a super cash grab for me, and I'm not particularly interested. Indiscriminate violence. That is the Kirby way. Oh, here we go. Oh, neat. All right, well, let's, uh, let's give Cutter a try. Kirby, you're throwing the wrong way. Can I do the thing from Kirby Superstar? Yes, I can. It is kind of interesting that I can't seem to um, get like a list of different moves that uh, that Kirby has anywhere. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. Sword, alright. Checkpoint. This hidden wall this hidden wall D was not very well hidden. Uh, is there a tulip nearby? That's not a tulip, is it? No. Here we go. Meat. Uh oh. Kirby, wrong way. Yeah, they they do tend to be pretty simple. I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, Kirby Superstar has one of the more advanced move sets. Maybe not the more advanced, the like the most advanced. But what is this? Oh, okay. Well, you're a little more hidden. I also appreciate the fact that you can mouthful uh, even when you have an ability. Ooh, there's a secret spot here. You can get some coins. Still not entirely sure what the coins do. And I have three. I have three eighty-seven of them. That's enough for a math coprocessor. processor 
anyone who gets that joke is awesome. <laughs> they make you rich, brah. Indeed. I'm a little worried that I've only found two of the five tulips, but I've found all three waldies. Uh, the 387 was a math coprocessor that uh, ran alongside the 386 to do complex math, like floating point stuff. Bye. Ow. Please don't do that. That, that, that is make the hurry. Ow. I feel like this mouthful is not doing me any favors. Okay, that was early. Okay, what are you looking for me to do? Okay. I think this is what you want me to do. There we go. And then... And that's also a thing that I don't know what it is. Well, you're dead. This looks like an end of level. Yep, sure is. Cleared in wild mode. Step on a crack, break a turtle's back. Oh, Fantasy 7 Hell House. Honestly, doubt you'll be able to get all the, wa the Waldies in one go. It's possible, but some of the requirements are not that easy to guess. Also, math is the only reason your GPA was a 361 and not a 389. That sucks. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone can math uh, at the level that society wants you to math at. But yeah, like, I, I am definitely aiming for 100%, but I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get everything on the first pass. Like, my, my aim for every Kirby game is to get everything eventually. And there are even still some games that I haven't been able to do that for. Society to math at in school. I have a collection now. Alright. Well, here's my collection. Somehow this uh, this Forgotten Land knows about Kirby. And they also make statuettes about money. It's a very strange society. Also, it says X1 there, so it must be entirely possible to get duplicates, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Hmm. No, I don't. I didn't want to return to Waddle D Town. Well, whatever. Let's go visit Waddle D Town, I guess.
All right, so we're spending coins to uh, to build Wall D Town. There's also a theater. I guess that's to to watch the uh, the cutscenes. Ah, oh, looks like the Wall D's have been hard at work. Want to take a look around? Also, I appreciate games that uh, put, like, additional dialogue in the corner so that it doesn't interrupt things. Okay, so I... Actually, no, I don't need coins. I need 50 bottle D's for this, 60 for that one. Also sounds good, Donuts. Um, Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I got to say about that. Yeah. Huh. To arrival point. To world map. What's arrival point? Is that where I started the game, I guess? Okay. Uh. No, we don't necessarily need to do that again. At, at least not right now. I guess it's it's a good place to like if you haven't played the game in like a year and need to refresh. It's a good place to go. Alright, downtown grassland, through the tunnel. No, I don't want to return to Wild D Town. Stop asking. Okay, it's four hidden Wild Ds. And three other things. Going for the cinematic uh, camera views, I see, which are not doing me any favors. Okay, fire. And I can walk around while I'm spitting fire, which is good. Can I fireball? Okay, jump and then... Alright. Light four lantern switches. So I guess I want to keep this, uh, this flame burning for as long as I can. Okay, it looks like there is a time limit on how long we can fly for, because you saw Kirby starting to sweat there. Also, some people may be wondering, like, am I only gonna play the, the first couple of hours of this or something? No, I'm, this is a series for the entire game. And why am I doing a series for this entire game when I only play the first two hours of Tunic? And the reason for that is very simple. Tunic is an indie game. I want people to know about it, but I also want people to like get a copy for themselves and experience it. I mean, this is kind of the same, but at the same time, Nintendo is a multi-million dollar company. Like, they, they have their own marketing and all of that and huge budgets. 
Um, I'm not really bothered with um, trying to raise awareness while also like not spoiling so that people play for themselves. Um, not, not to say that I don't want everyone to play this game for themselves. One, it just has not quite as much depth to spoil, I would say. And two, like, if you weren't inclined to get a Kirby game previously, me playing it is probably not going to change that. Ow. Give me that. God dang it. Whoa. Anyway, all that to say, y'all should definitely play too. <laughs> but also... Um, we're getting through this game. I do actually plan J-Pop on um, playing all of Tunic on stream as well. Just not now. Like, that's probably going to be the next game that I play after this. All right, that's all for them. I appreciate the game making the player aware of environmental things like this. The, like I can climb up on this, you know. Oh, there we go. I knew there had to be like an easier way to get there. And there's one of the hidden wall Ds. Aside from regular people not being able to buy them, the reason you don't see advertisements for a brand like Rolls Royce and Lamborghini, with their reputation, they don't need the advertisement. Compared to Nintendo, that is for your reason, yeah. Like they they, they don't need advertisement. You say you say a Lamborghini, you say a Porsche, you say uh, you know, Camaro. You probably know at least what it is, and the fact that these things are very expensive and they're usually pretty nice. Interesting that it uh, gave me this platform. I mean, it's not as though there is fall damage, right? Kirby has never had fall damage. Maybe weird to start now. Must be nothing in that tank. And Kirby is generally universally known. Even even people who don't play Kirby games at least know what Kirby is. Meanwhile, people don't necessarily know what Tunic is or why it's even interesting. But I want I want people to know that it exists. But I want people to experience it and know why it's the thing that it is and why it's good for themselves. Oh, that's that's nifty. All right. 
I'm down. Um, is there anything over here? Now. Okay, bye. Can't really jump in this form. Okay, so the understanding that I have is that these things, the mouthful objects, seem to disappear after a little while. In general. Kirby is a new Tetris piece. I was hoping to be able to collect that while I'm in mouthful mode, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Oh! Alright. Now the, the flame got stopped by the, uh, the stairs. Interesting. Alright. Well, first of all, I want to... Oh, that just is fire. Got it. So I want to put the stairs here. There we go. Yeah, the flame didn't actually reach the uh, the cannon while the stairs were uh, were back there. And that's another hidden wall D. That's all four of them this stage. Um, there we go. Dang it. Ah, thank you, Lord Terry. I did not know that. A helpful tidbit. Also, this is another thing that I can do with the uh, with the flame: burn the tall grass. Probably just the tall grass, eh? Not these. Uh... And probably not this either. Hey. Let's add to my collection. Alright. I think that's uh that's pretty much it for now. There we go. Kirby's Avalanche. So we found the secret room, we lit the four lantern switches. And we need to remove the wanted poster, which I completely didn't notice. All right. Lightron works sign. It's a massive corporation that invested in research and development within all kinds of fields, electro, bio, astro, and more. Lightron eventually split up, giving rise to many rival companies and countless heated corporate battles. And a water tank. And a kaboo. Yeah, Avalanche is not just like Puyo Puyo. It is straight a uh, 
a localized port of Puyo Puyo, a uh, Super Puyo Puyo 1. So we rescued 9 out of 10 Waddle Dees there. Oh, what's that? And that. Waddle Dees, you say, found a new mysterious area, Treasure Road. There could be rare items in there. Hop in and explore. Alright, let's give this a try. Oh, so it's pushing cutter on us. Interesting. 9 out of 10 Wild D's agree. Screw that last guy. So we got 3 minutes. Oh, this is like in uh, Return to Dreamland, eh? Yeah, okay. That's how, that's how you meant to do it. Yeah. Might have to redo this one. I'm not gonna worry too much about, uh, like, 100% clearing anything right now. Like, we're just gonna do this and complete it the one time. If I fail it, I'll do it again. But if, if if it's like a score thing where like I get so many points and I get like additional Ds saved or something, then I'll worry about that later. Right now I just kind of want to experience this game. There is a Kirby theme in Tetris 99, I have it. Rare stone found. Okay, it doesn't seem to have uh, penalized me for taking damage or anything. And there's just the one star there, so I guess I don't have to worry too much about it. Bomb treasure. Well, I can't get S rank zero if um, if it's not going to rank me. <laughs> okay. Um, Is probably wanting me to do that. There we go. Really? God dang it. There we go. There we go. Give me a second. There we go. See what you did, you friggin' spam bot. Oh yeah, there is a target time. Now I see it. Yeah, I didn't notice that for the first one. Oh, like I said, I'll worry about those later. I guess that might be what this hollow star means. It means that I didn't get, like, the target time. Oh. Search. Oh, hey. Alright, I guess we're doing another one. Pop Shots of Ending Adventure. You get the admiration of your fellow gamers, indeed. Let's 
kind of another example of um, Hell being actually kind of good at, uh, at shmups. This is basically what this is. It's like an abstract form of shmup. Well, down I go. Oh, okay. Apparently down I go, but not out. to kill everything or oh wait now I see the switches now okay uh oh and away I go okay I need to stop doing that actually gonna run out of time or maybe not maybe not yeah there we go target time 120 it's fine I was 30 seconds late I was later than that actually starting this stream there we go Anything else? Oops. I keep mixing up A and B and I blame Microsoft. Cone Mouth Treasure. Okay, so three stars is, is the difficulty. Uh, I also somehow missed that. All right. Come on. There we go. Well, <clears throat> Oh geez, I don't have a whole lot of time with this one. Six, five, there we go. Time her the fuck up. All right, that's enough of those for now. Let's do another stage. Rocky Rollin' Road. Here's a stage, four hidden wall Ds, and three other things. Don't mind me, I'm just being a lawnmower. Also, that's an ability. Spike it up. Okay, so I can kind of move around while I'm in spike form. Alright. Oh, wait, that's another ability, isn't it? Well, 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 too bad Jason isn't here. Because he's getting exactly what he always asked for. 
use gun. Seriously, it, it's like Nintendo hacked Jason's brain and they're like, you know what we should have Kirby do? We should have Kirby use gun. Hmm, how do we get that? Well, I can't seem to get up high enough. Also, it's interesting, that ability stayed for a while. Like, it didn't disappear right away. It's the first time I think that a Kirby game does that. Oh wait, I, I needed to actually... yeah. I need to actually use gun. <laughs> Guessing that with this I can. Yeah, okay. That's how I get that. But I'm still not sure what to do with these coins. But it probably has to do something. Uh, it probably has something to do with the uh, Waldy Village. Interesting. Find the side road the side road while going uphill. Alright. Is there anything over here? Only death. All right, cool. Hmm. What's this? That door was red. That's probably significant. Oh, interesting. Oh wait, they're going down. I probably want to hit them all before they all disappear. No. There we go. Break the targets! I broke the targets and I got me a bottle D. You know what? Nah, I prefer a sword. I'm probably going to live to regret this. It's fine. We are totally gonna Indiana Jones this, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. There's a poster here. Do I have to get rid of this poster too? Man, I am good at video games.
Looks like we are going for a drive. That's perfectly fine, Tyrion. Honestly, I, I wish I could stick to, like, doing Duolingo every day. Unfortunately, I kind of fell out of, uh, of Blaze's, uh, you know, class for doing, for doing just that. I think the, the only way that I'm ever going to actually stick to learning Japanese or any language is with a structured environment to do so. Whoa, okay. This is unfriendly, but it's fine, we made it. Drive without falling off the edge, interesting. And now I could theoretically just go back and fall off the edge on purpose. But I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I know the resources are still in the uh, Discord. I, um... Hopefully I'll be able to actually stick to it at some point, but, uh... Now's probably not the time anyway. I have... I actually have kind of way too many things going on. A trip to a, a, a live mall? Once again, 9 out of 10 Waldees say screw that other guy. Okay, two more. Um, two more treasure rifts. Fire treasure. Yeah, exactly. Also, I went back to Wald D Town again. <laughs> And once again, I, I blame Microsoft for confusing what A and B are all the time. I am already bilingual. Oh yeah, I uh, I pressed the uh, the crouch button there, and it did actually make the fuse faster. See, so thank you for that, Terry. I finished that super quick. I had tons of time. Hey, and I hit the target time. That gives me an additional 50 coins. So let's see what it looks like on the map when I do that. So it looks like the, uh, the star has a little bit of extra shine to it. No, it, this one's doing that too. Is there an easy way to tell which which uh, targets have been met? You increase it by making everyone else learn English. The Ranger treasure. Time to use gun once again.
So this is basically just a shooting gallery, straight up. That was the last one. For some reason, my brain decided to, like, oh, look at that! A fraction of a second within the target time. Feels good. And for some reason, I saw the word colonizer and I just started thinking Britney Spears. Colonizer, call a colonizer, you're a colonizer. I'm sorry, please don't leave. Um, yeah. Oh, Alaville Mall. Okay. Let's go to the mall. You ever want to go to the mall and just kind of wreck up the place? Actually, what are in these boxes? Anything interesting over here? Unfortunately, these, uh, unfortunately, the escalator has temporarily become stairs. Thank you. Uh, we apologize for the convenience. Oh, uh, Mitch Hedberg. You died. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Anything else interesting over here? I do wonder if this game has something like in Star Allies where um, you can imbue certain abilities with other abilities. Like you can imbue the Sword of Fire, for instance. Oh, Gib Sword. <sighs> okay, let's do this the intended way game. Yes, spoil sport. Interesting to have like sort of secret spots like that. Also, one thing that I kind of didn't register up until just now I don't think this game has a live system. Which is a smart thing, honestly. Live systems are a bit outdated. Like, what does a live system really do for a game, for most games? Where's Green Tunic, Master Sword, and Hylian Shield? Walks into Pottery Shop. Heavy breathing. Hyper candy. All right. I get what you're putting down, but first let's check this out. There we 
we go. Lose a hundred coins if you die. You lose coins, not sure how many. Okay. Also, I think I hear a Waddle D. Oh, this is super rad. Oh, there's a wall, dude. Okay, so it's mouthful this uh Yeah man. Mm. There we go. What is this? Okay, so hallway, there's a burger joint, and I wanna turn to the right, I guess. If I turn to the right here, can I go back? Yes, I can. You know what? Let's let's check out the burger drum first. Not get to, to imprison these waddle dees. Your penalty is death. Hmm. That looks progression y. I don't know if I want to go there yet. So maybe it was telling me that in order, like, telling me to go toward the burger joint to tell me that's the way to go to go forward. Ah, okay. Now the trap chest. This also looks progression-y. I'm guessing they all have a, uh, a stairway that goes up to like the next uh the next floor and this one probably has the same deal where there's a chest but there's nothing good in it yeah sure enough Okay, it's giving us needle and fire, so I'm guessing there's a mini boss. Yep, sure is wild frosty. What the hell is this? Just post apocalyptic Mr. Frosty. Oh, that was cool.
All right, I can't capture those. Got it. Ah. Okay, that hurt a lot. But now I've got your power. That's got the little skating animation. I remember that there was one game that I was asking, like, should I keep, should I take the boss's power or should I leave it? Um, then I later learned if the boss is giving you a power in a recent Kirby game, you want to take that power. Also, I think I wanted to hit that box. It might be too late now. Let's see what happens if I do this. Yeah, it ain't coming back. Oh well. Ooh. Oh, because you're already cold, you take a little bit more to uh, to defeat with uh, with ice. Hey, right, I see what you what you're doing. There we go. Hey, you come back here, you. Did I? Seriously, float over it twice? In, in modern Kirby, I find if you're going for 100% especially, you want to get the boss power. because that power is not going to show up anywhere else in the level. And it's going to be needed to actually unlock something. Okay, so this is uh, this is the next one of these. So I actually want to... Well, first I want to look around here. Okay, so moving the control stick around a little bit, still kind of pulling back, but moving it around a little bit is uh, going to make it fall over faster. Okay, so ice cream. Got it. What's behind here? Cake. Cake and ice cream. All right. <clears throat> it's probably safe to assume that there is nothing else in the other ones. Let's go with the ice cream first. Well, that was a completeness. There we go. Okay, so I've, uh, defeated everything now. And this gate's just closed. 
That's cool. Actually, just wanted to kick that and see if anything good happened. But is this just the way forward and I missed something? Because if it is, that ain't cool. Okay, so I... oh. Um... Well, that was bolted onto the wall. Alright. Anything interesting over here other than just the view? Which, I mean, it is a very nice view. Not gonna lie. Wouldn't mind dining here, right? Wouldn't be a fan of having to climb a ladder to do it. And I'm sure the wait staff hates it. Ew, yeah, I know exactly what you what you mean there, Taryn. Navigate the mall without getting lost. Okay, so... I guess I needed to not go into all of them. Ouch! Ouch! Careful with those spikes and jab enemies in place or pick them up by rolling around. Not a whole bunch of them to- uh, nab a whole bunch of them together, then launch them off all at once. Pow! And Maxim Tomato. If your health is low, just eat a Maxim Tomato to fully heal yourself. They're packed with nutrients. Did these fall through the same vortex as Kirby and his friends? Or were they in the New World already? It's hard to tell, but everyone seems to enjoy them, even the Beast Pack. And a Traffic Gun. Just a Traffic Gun. Stepping on one of those spiky murder seas from the trees around here. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I need 17 Ds to open this up. The Brawl at the Mall. There's a game called Mall Brawl that came out not too long ago, which, uh, which was actually made by someone in Nova Scotia. Well, all Ds help you open the, the gate that was blocking your way. Head into, head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this territory. I think, before we do that, let's go get this ice turtle. Not sure you need to explain, explain why a fruit is in the place of animals, but what do I know? Oh, okay. Mash Y and hold. Got it. Alright. Actually, I think this is a downward slope, so I can just kind of keep doing it. Yeah, there we go. Bam. I missed the target time, mostly because I didn't know about that move. All right. Well, with that, I think it is boss time, Mr. Guy. Well, it'll probably be the last thing before break. And then after the break, we'll take on World 2. Oh, 
Ah, putting some enemies in the boss stage. Interesting. Actually, wait. Can I go back here? Nah, yeah, apparently not. It's fine. Oh, banana. Okay, I'm getting some vibration on the controller here. Yeah, I'll leave this one to you. What are we fighting this boss with? Are you fighting it with ice, bomb, or sword? Nothing is not an option. Zero says ice. Tyrion says ice. I'm good with ice. Hey, buddy. You're a big monkey. Oh, geez. Hi. Um, please stop doing that. Strong armor beast, Gormondo. It's like Mondo, except more gory. Actually, I wonder if I can... Okay, I cannot apparently freeze the... Um... Oh, jeez, I can't freeze this either, probably. But yeah, I can't freeze the stars. Okay, now I'm just playing like a dumb. Is there some opportunity to do like a lot more damage? Or you know, I can just sit here. Okay, <laughs> looks like Gormondo had the same idea. All right. Hey, I need to remember I can press X to to uh, drink that energy drink thing that I have. Thanks to the fact that I used my uh, my amiibo. Slip through Gormondo's legs. Alright. Ooh, that was an opportunity for big damage. Hey, you're excited. Oops. There we go. Once we got the idea of um, how to fight this boss, that went pretty well. Um, I guess that the uh, the other uh, hidden Ds are probably based on the other abilities. So defeat Gormondo with sword, and we won't find out about the other two, but it's probably uh, something to do with the other ability 
and possibly fighting without an ability? Yes, Taryn, it indeed Harambe is gone, I guess I must zip. I don't even want to know what you have in mind, J-Pop. It's probably a reference that I have no idea. Two of the hidden D are always the same. Alright. That sent us back to uh, Bottle Town here. Or Bottle Village, I guess. Gotcha. Not gotcha, gotcha. All these weapon shop is now open. Uh, head here to make your copy abilities even stronger. Okay, we have 37 Ds so far. Welcome to Waldi's Weapon Shop! I work with all types of copy abilities, it's kind of my thing. Any copy abilities you find out there will become available in here. Pop in and grab one anytime. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you evolve those abilities to make them much stronger. This blueprint contains some incredible techniques. We can use it to evolve your ability. Let's try evolving one right now. I'll ready my tools. Thanks for waiting. The cutter ability can now be evolved into Chakram Cutter. Thanks for waiting. The fire ability can now be evolved into Volcano Fire. Interesting. Alright. To evolve, this, uh, to evolve this copy ability, you'll need star coins and rare stones. You can find rare stones on the treasure roads hidden throughout the world map. Try those out! I prepped everything in advance this time, so we're all set. Just press E to evolve the ability. Oh, okay. So you gave me this stuff that I need to actually evolve it for this one. Everybody gets one. Cutter ability has, been, has evolved into Chakram Cutter. Success! All done! The Cutter ability has evolved into Chakram Cutter. If you find more blueprints, just bring them to me. I'll use them to evolve your abilities even further. Okay, well before I evolve the other one. Oh, that's neat. I like this. Alright, I'm down with that. Let's, let's see what Volcano Kirby has, has in store for us. Hey. Oh. So basically, you, you get an ability and it'll show up here. Alright. And if I want to use the ability... find this ability in a stage will be set to Chakram Cutter to match. Okay, so I can, I can, if I want to, turn off the evolution of Tyrion saying ice. I guess, I guess we're going with ice then. Uh, ice is over here, yep. Unfortunately, we don't have an evolution for this. Actually, is there... 
Ah, we can keep going here. Ooh, Mr. Sandbag, all right. So we can test our abilities. We need to find the blueprints to update them. Or upgrade them. All right. That's, uh, also it's interesting how things like the farther away they are in the background, the less animated they are. That's interesting. There's so many different figures. Do you have a, a favorite, Kirby? Let's do a couple of pulls. Pokemon or Arceus is the same, I guess, because Switch. I just wanted to see an upgrade, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have the blueprint for Ice yet. Now, a watermelon. Maybe I'll go until I get a duplicate. Ooh. The Beast Pack managed to cash these three wild Ds with one golden cage. If they work together, they might be able to... Oh, never mind. They're too sad to move. All they can do is cry for help. Wah, 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 wah. Somebody save the cheese game. <laughs> no confidence. Switch. Hyper candy. Or invincible candy, I guess this game wants to call it. Lantern switch. And pretty good, no duplicates so far. Oh, there's our duplicates. I had to go and say something. You defeated the boss and opened up a new area. All right, that takes us to our next adventure in, in abandoned beach. But that will come after the break. We're gonna take a little break, not too long, maybe like ten minutes or so. And when we come back, we will start on. World 2 of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. So, stick around. 